Tom. Uh, Happy New Year. It's been a while since I posted the video. So, I uh, hope you guys had a good Christmas. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, hope you had a good December. Um, yeah, so I wanted to do a video today on how you can use clay pots um, to heat a small area or a greenhouse using candles. Um, dog's taking a drink in the background. See how long he goes for. Nah, just a short one. Anyway, so the great thing about clay is um, it holds a lot of heat and it releases that heat um, slowly over a period of time. Uh, this is good when you are container growing because the pot gets heated up during the day from the sun and then it insulates and releases that heat into the night keeping your roots uh, warm which is good for them. Uh, roots require warmth to grow healthily in most uh, vegetable and flower plants. So yeah, clay pots, they are more expensive than plastic. Uh, they're more heavy, harder to move around. Um, they also break if you drop them. And if you leave them out over the winter, they can absorb water and be damaged by freezing. But uh, that great thermal property of being able to absorb um, heat and to let it off slowly uh, is good for growing and then also means you can use them for this heating application. So you basically just have some tea lights which you light and you put under your pots. You can get big tea lights too which burn for longer and basically just heat up that pot and then it releases that heat to the air around it. Um, there's different designs out there where you can put a pot here and then you can have another pot on the outside of it um, but I found that if you just put a pot right over the candles that gives off heat pretty good um, I think you gotta have the right size ratio between the inside pot and the outside pot to make that sort of design work so once you got your tea lights lit uh, you wanna have them on a non flammable surface and you wanna be careful obviously because it's a uh, an open flame so um, yeah and then I just got these little metal fittings that my pot is gonna sit on and you want about you know a couple inches or at least an inch and a half kind of thing for air to get in underneath um, if you don't have enough air coming in there the candles are gonna go out um, so yeah you want about that much space and then you just put your pot over top. This has a hole in the center so I found if you just place another pot on the top of that and then cover that hole with a coin and then this whole thing um, it takes a while to heat up I'd say about half an hour but it's pretty incredible how much heat just a few candles will produce and how much heat this thing will radiate off. Um, I'd say in about half an hour from my experience from using this the pot gets way too hot to touch so it's putting off a fair amount of heat. Um, if you're trying to heat a really big area you're not really going to notice that it's doing that much but um, I found that in a small area uh, it definitely puts off quite a bit of heat and it's pretty cheap and safe to run it's just a few candles um, and uh, yeah it's just a cheap easy way to heat a small area just using clay pots and some candles so if you do have a greenhouse or shed or something that uh, doesn't have any power to it then this is a pretty cheap easy way to uh, add some heat to a to a small area and if you want to take this clay pot heater to the next level you could use a heat source like a penny stove which puts out way more heat than candles and if you're interested in making one of these you can check out my earlier video on making a penny stove uh, I think if I was gonna make one to be used as a heater 
I might make it a little bit bigger so it holds a bit more fuel and maybe half the number of holes. This has 16 burning holes and maybe I'd put in just eight because that way I'd still be giving off a lot of heat but it would take longer to burn through that fuel. 16 produces the most heat but it also burns through the fuel pretty quick. I just wanted to add that uh, it looks like these bigger tea lights produce uh, a bigger flame. Um, so that might be something you want to consider. If you want to use one of these, maybe be better off uh, getting the bigger tea lights. Um, they probably burn for longer and it seems to produce more heat. So that's just a quick video on how you can use uh, some candles or a penny stove and some clay pots to produce a lot of heat without using electricity. Um, so yeah, take care everyone. Bye. Hi everybody. My name is Thomas Parsons. This is a candle. This is a lighter. Happy New Year, that is all.